Well, hello, I hope you guys are well. Welcome to today's video. This is actually the end of the visit. Uh, so I'm recording the beginning at the end, if that makes any sense. And actually I've been here twice now um, and this is the last one. So I'm actually doubly recording the end at the beginning or the beginning at the end. Anyway, basically I'm here at Wickham Fen. Well, actually this is Adventurer's Fen and Baker's Fen. Uh, but I was at Wickham Fen a couple of days ago and I've been out shooting some birds and uh, here's how I got on. Well, hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are well. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may recall that I've been here before. Uh, this is Wickham Fen, uh, just outside Ely in Cambridgeshire. And last time I was here, it was an absolutely beautifully misty, frosty morning. Uh, I can't remember exactly when it was. I think it was sort of November time, uh, about two or three years ago. And I was here to photograph the wind pump and uh, a few of the other things, doing a little bit of landscape photography as it happens. But today I'm here for a totally different reason, because not only does Wickham Fen have some lovely landscapes with a fantastic wind pump and lots of little mirrors and, and the river and what have you, it also has an awful lot of wildlife here. And I believe there are nine hides uh, dotted around the fen. So uh, I'm going to go and visit some of those today and I'm going to go and see what sort of shots I can get. This is the first hide here at Wickham Fen that you'll come across if you walk past the wind pump along the boardwalk. And this is called the Roger Clark hide. Now, for me, it's, I mean, it looks out onto a, onto a beautiful pond, but for me, looking to get the small birds, it's almost too close because these feeders here, which are very, very close to the viewing area, are being frequented by blue tits, and they're, they're probably less than three meters away which is the sort of minimum focal distance on this camera lens. So uh, I'm going to have to be a bit creative with this and maybe see if I can uh, step back a bit and take them while they're in the trees. I mean, I don't want to get them while they're on the feeder anyway, but they seem quite happy just to pop up and, and feed off the feeder without any issue at all. So um, obviously very used to us here watching them. So that was the Roger Clark hide there and there was plenty of the usual suspects there like the goldfinches and great tits and blue tits but not much of anything that I haven't really seen before. Still got some nice shots there but anyway we're going to head on to the next hide now which is called the boardwalk hide. So this is the boardwalk hide and uh, to be honest with you it's I think it's more for birds of prey, owls and kestrels and marsh harriers and things like that because there's actually nothing at all in front it's just a, a piece of open land uh, cut down marshes uh, so I assume it's it's for birds of prey and things like that so I'm not going to stay here very long one thing I am going to say is the wind is really picking up it's whipping through here it's shaking the whole hide so uh, yeah, it's, uh, 
It's quite windy now. So that was a very enjoyable few hours pottering around Wickham Fen. I uh, spent most of it in that original hide actually if I'm not honest but uh, had a nice little wander around the boardwalk. Uh, didn't really see anything that took my eye. Uh, I think there's a lot more hides but it was very off the boardwalk was very boggy and squelchy. I've got a feeling that you might be able to access, access some of them on the other side of the river but uh, that's for another day. Well, good morning, I'm back out over at Wickham Fen. Actually, it's not quite Wickham Fen, this is a place called Adventurous Fen. The reason I'm a bit on my guard here is that there's a bar now around, which is why I've come out so early. Had a good tip off from Darren Knight. <coughs> Hello Darren, hope you're well. Uh, to say that there's a bar now that flies around here. If you get up early enough, which I have done, I've spotted it twice now actually once it come over this river here uh, got some shots but they're very grainy because uh, it was quite low the light was quite low and i've just seen it fly out over the other side of this field uh, so i'm hoping it's doing a loop uh, maybe it'll come back over this river again and i've sort of got myself in position because it flew across this field from this direction so i'm kind of hoping that it follows a bit of a pattern and if it does, then I'm going to disappear really quickly. But um, yeah, so I'm here at this adventurous fen. Basically, I'm up early. It's about, it's before sunrise. It's about quarter to six at the moment. Um, so uh, if you can see the beautiful sky behind me, the sun's just coming up. So hopefully we'll get some shots of this bar now. And then if we don't, or if we do, or whatever as the light comes up i'm going to move on to there's a hide just down literally just down the road here called baker's hide uh, so i'm going to head into there to see if i can get some maybe some sort of warblers or maybe some some more reed buntings or something along those lines so we'll see but uh yeah there it is i think no it's not okay that wasn't it <laughs> false alarm. Anyway, I'm going to go um, see if I can get any shots and I'll come back to you in a bit. Let's just give you a bit of an update. I was about to say, oh, you know, no more barn owl sightings. I've seen a few. There's a cow over there. There's a few cows in the field. There's a few photographers and bird spotters and bird watchers knocking about, but no barn owl. But then, about five minutes ago, it looped back round and flew across the field. And uh, I can't tell. I can't tell if I got a good shot of it or not, to be honest with you. I've zoomed in and it seems to be reasonably sharp, but the light's still quite low. I mean, sun's up, but it's gone beyond a bank of clouds. Um, and you know, obviously it was quite a distance away. So it could be, it could be grainy. It looked like it had captured it. I mean, fortunately barn owls fly quite slowly, so you can lock on quite quickly. Um, but whether the shot's good or not, who can say, but I'll pop them up here anyway, so you can have a look.
what an amazing hour or so that was photographing that barn owl. I watched it fly back in about five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago. And to my knowledge, I haven't seen it come out. So I wonder whether it's finished uh, for, the, for the night. Um, I'm not sure. But I was, I was stood over by the river where you saw me and I just caught it the other side. So I went over and uh, stood on the, there's like a, a drawbridge. I went and stood on that. I got a very nice close encounter with it. I really hope the shots have come out. I really do. Uh, they look they look okay on the back here, but I can't tell till I get them home and process. But I got quite close to it, and then I watched it fly all the way down the river, uh, hunting in the reeds for food. It's absolutely fantastic. And then it looped back round, and I saw it come back in. I didn't get many of it coming back in, so it's quite far away, but. Wow, what an experience, fantastic. Watch the sun come up in the morning, spend it with a barn owl, can't be bad. I think I also got some sort of heron possibly or a crane, um, brilliant. So anyway, now I'm gonna head off to Baker's Hide. Uh, I can't say how busy that's gonna be. There's, there's three other cars along with me in the car park, so it might be busy if it is. Not sure how much of a of a segment you'll get from there, but I'll do my best anyway. And in there, I'm hoping to maybe get, I don't know, something along the lines of a, a some sort of warbler or, a, or a maybe even a bearded tit if I'm lucky or something along those lines. But just gonna go and sit in there for a couple of hours, chill out, see what comes along, get some shots. So if you don't see from me, I'll certainly find you some B-roll of the birds and hopefully some shots. And with a bit of luck, you might hear from me, or actually you might think it's not a bit of luck. Anyway, I'll see you soon. So this here is Baker's Hide, uh, which I believe looks out onto Baker's Fen. Makes sense. Um, I was expecting it actually to be way busier than this. There's no one here, it's just me. So, but basically you've got a load of reed beds here and a little stream or a little part of the mere runs down there. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and wait by these reed beds just to see if any birds come along that might be worth shooting so yeah I'll keep you updated I've been in Baker's Hyde now for over an hour and I've not seen a sausage few water birds but absolutely no birds at all on the reeds. No warblers, no reed buntings, no nothing. I can hear a few but I haven't seen a single one. But the, the really good thing about this is it's just so nice just to be sitting here, the sun's out, chilled, you're alone with your thoughts. And if a bird does come along then happy days and if it doesn't well, you still have a fantastic morning watch the sun come up what more could you ask for really God, the birds might be nice to be honest <laughs>
So I'd actually done my sign off at Baker's Hyde and I was on my way back uh, to the car. I want to say a big thank you to watching, well, for watching this week. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and I got back to pretty much where I was, where I started, and the barn owl was still out. So what a fantastic ending to the day. It's just been circling around this field where, right by the barn where it roosts. And it's unbelievable. So I, I feel like I've got some fantastic shots. But even if I haven't, what a privilege just to be here and just to witness that barn owl. What a majestic animal it is, genuinely. What a beautiful, majestic animal. Fantastic. Wow, what an unbelievably brilliant end to the day. So I'm going to say goodbye again. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this week. I have. It's been great. And uh, I'll see you next time.